Hey guys, Leon here, and today we're going to do part two of the Dell XPS wallpaper design series. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get right into it. So this is what we'll be recreating today. That little section right here. This little animation right here, we'll be recreating today. So let's get started. So at first, let's start with our spheres. We need spheres, we need some cloners, and we need a helix for the path. Okay, let's make our spheres a little smaller. All right, since those a little smaller let's, let's stretch out the helix a little bit cloner we have to set it to object and we're going to use the helix as the object. So now we have that, uh, we have the cloner on the helix. You want the spine effector to go on the, the cloner to be able to move it along the position of the helix. Kind of important step right here. We want to move the end like a little towards here, maybe. So then we have like kind of a trailing effect. Cool. Maybe the sphere is a little too big. Let's bring it down a little bit. Let's increase the cloners. Let's add a random effect to random. So let's give it, we want to try to give it more natural look compared to what we have here. So you want to give it a little more randomness. Let's see how that looks. Uh, you want to press command, create a keyframe here. And let's put a keyframe where you want it to stop. Somewhere about here. Let's see. Okay, that looks really good at the moment. Let's add, let's give it some more variety still. Still needs a little bit more variety. Let's add effector let's go formula effector what the formula effector is going to do is give us some nice patterns like this but we need to tweak it a little bit uh, let's see we don't need rotation muscles in the sphere let's tweak it down a little bit Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kind of give us a wobbly thing. Let's go like this. Uh, let's change up this a little bit more. Go one, one, one. 
Let's see what we're working right now. Okay, that looks kind of good. Maybe we can add some more uh, colonas in there. Where we at 100, let's put like 150. Uh, yeah, there, there it goes. It looks, it looks, it's coming together. Maybe what we can do is add some a different sphere and we can just increase. Looks like we need some bigger spheres actually. Yeah. All right, let's make it a little more dynamic. Let's go to simulation, dynamics. Let's add, what am I looking for? Tags, simulation. Let's add some rigid body here. I'm going to change this. this is important. We need to change this a little higher so it will stay on track. Oop, it's off track. So let's increase that to five a little bit. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's compare this to our, our reference image. Okay, we are almost there. Uh, it just needs a little more density and a little more scale on the top. We'll fix that right now. You can make some a little smaller and then some like really big. So, like about here. Six. Then we can bump up the clones like probably 3,000, 300. Yeah, this looks pretty, pretty good. Let's stress it, stretch it out a little bit more. Okay, that's what we came here for. Oh, don't forget to save. All right, so let's increase it a little bit more. Unless for the dynamics, let's uh, apply the children. Okay. All children. All right, so let's let's add some some of those cool tubes here. Let's add some of those in there. Uh, that's very simple. Let's go to tube. Let's see if, if we can align the tubes to the spline. That'll be something pretty cool. Uh, what we will go? We will go to cloner. Put a tube under the corner, cloner. Uh, we're gonna go object and we're gonna go helix. Let's see, helix. Oh, okay, that works. All right, so now we need to arrange this. All right, so we go to object, we, we align the clone. So let's see what we have here. Let's go to the beginning. Okay, Oop. well, let's just make the tube a little bit wider and give it some more segments to smooth it out. Let's smooth out the spheres at the same time. I don't know, 64. Let me sure it's just battery smooth. Okay. Cool. Uh, it could be a little thinner. Thinner radius, a little bit thinner, a little bit more. Smoothness in there. All right. 
right, so we are smooth. Cool, so we have something going on here. So we kinda we kinda got our uh so we got the animation down. So let's go. Okay, so since we kind of got this animation down now, we can uh, attempt to kind of uh, texture and light this thing. So let's spend some time doing that. Um, I'll be using Octane again because I think it's the most um, kind of affordable right now for like $20 a month. You can get uh, get the Octane license compared to like Redshift which is the kind of a little uh, pricier. So you can get like a subscription for Octane, so that's why I'm using it. But if you guys want me to use uh, Redshift or Cycles 4D, anything, I, I can do a tutorial on that. Okay, so let's get back into it. Okay, so going back to our reference image, we have like uh, about a few colors going on here. We have yellow and pink. And then we have these kind of uh, translucent colors, I'll say, going on in the tube. So those should be pretty uh, simple to recreate. So let's let's get into it. I mean, there's too many tubes for me, so I, I'll just, uh, if you always want to, you can bring down the count of the tubes. I just think it's too much because it's blocking my view. You can always increase it if you like. So let's go into that. All right, so let's first, let's create the green and background. In my last tutorial, I showed how to do that, so you'll do it again. So we go into texture environment with Octane. We go to texture. Uh, we just go straight to gradient here. Um, click on gradient. And let's see what we can go with. Okay, so let's create the materials now. Um, let's start with uh, the regular Octane material. And we will go specular. All right, let's just drop that onto our cloners. No, this no, or oh, tubes. Let's drop it on our tubes. Cool. All right, so once we're in there, Let's add some roughness to it so we can get the roughness in. I'm gonna get boat going here. It's pretty. Pretty interesting already. Looks pretty good. Let's see how it looks in patch racing. Now you don't really see much of it here. See it in direct. And now we need to just get uh some metallics for the for the spheres. All right, so octane uh, material. The first sphere we're gonna give it um, uh, metallic. Let's increase the roughness. All right, cool. I like that better. And then we're gonna make it. I'm gonna make it a little bit red. No, you're gonna have that one at home. Just whatever. Take whatever you want. Let's clone that. And we're gonna make another one. We're gonna make it uh, yellow. Cool. And there you have it. Uh, there you have it. Okay, sense we could just bring this up to 48. Uh, let's go to render thing. Let's 
like even though this does have a little bit more we can just always uh you could always crank it up here in the cloner you can always just like you can always crank up the count to like you know to get more of it to get that full look And another thing too, if you want to create more variants, you can always like, you can, oh, wait, you can always duplicate this. Uh, we can add, add this rate as like four. So we have some bigger ones. You can also, you could also mess with the formula also. You can mess with the scale in here. Yeah, yeah, Leon, just go change up the whole project <laughs> right at the end. We could pause Octane for a second, so. So yeah, there you have it. Oh, let's just put this to render. Let's see what it looks like. Looks pretty good in video also. All right, so that's it for our tutorial today. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. See you guys later. And remember, all project file links are in the description below.